Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sasha K here, and this is my beautiful model Sherry. I will be slaying this face. So if you want to see how I recreated this look on Sherry, then please stick around and keep watching. Sherry, say hi to the peeps. Hi. <laughs> say wagwan. What? It's Jamaican for for wagwan. 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 Ah, you did that really good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start by prepping Sherry's skin. I'm just gonna apply the Clinique moisturizer. You guys ignore my ashy AF hands. They're super clean because I'm touching her face and stuff. For primer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, this one right here. Okay, now I'm just going to use my Painterly Paint Pot to primer lid. Okay, I'm going to use my Morphe M433 brush to apply MAC Soft Brown. So this is going to be the transition shade. Okay, next I'm using my MAC 221 brush. I'm gonna apply Saddle right under the transition shade we just applied. So I'm just reapplying some of the MAC painter leg right onto the lid right here. And I'm just using a Sigma F70 brush for this one. Using the same Sigma F70 brush, I'm gonna apply Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Beach Shade. So that's this one right here. And we're just gonna pop that onto the lid. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Morphe M212 brush and I'm gonna apply MAC and Bark right onto the eyeliner area. I'm just gonna smudge this as close to her lash line as possible. I'm gonna use my Benefit Brow Pencil to outline her brows. She got really nice brows already, so it makes my work easier right now. So because my friends are the best, and they always remember to bring their shit when they're coming to my house to get their makeup done, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. That's this one right here. I'm gonna be using this as her foundation base. Okay, now that we got her looking like a monster, we're gonna use her <laughs> we're gonna use her Dime Beauty Blender to blend this all in. So next we're gonna be using the Tarte Marjuku. That is what it's called, Marjuku Creaseless Concealer. So I'm using a different beauty blender to buff this all out. And to get rid of the harshness, we're just going to use the previous Beauty Blender to buff up those harsh lines. Use a concealer that is a couple shades lighter than your skin tone. Okay, next I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set under her eyes. We're basically going to set everywhere we put the concealer, not just under her eyes. Okay, next I'm going to set her face using her MAC Studio Fix Powder. This one's in the shade NW NC42, sorry. And I'm using my Sigma F30 brush to set it. To tone down how much highlight it is, we're just using her powder under her eyes as well. I'm gonna switch brush really quick. I'm using the, what is this, Sigma F35 brush so I can get a little bit closer under her eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some lashes on her. Before that, I'm gonna apply the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Midnight Black Mascara. Just onto her upper lashes for now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly apply some Demi Wispy lashes onto her. For her inner tear dot area, I'm gonna apply MAC Jest. That's my Morphe E36 brush. So 
So I'm gonna apply some mascara onto her lower lash line. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of bronzer to her face. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. This one's in the shade seven. And I'm using a Sigma F05 brush. A little bit of bronzer into her forehead area. Next, I'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit, and I'm using the shade Bubbly. For blush, I'm using Milani Coral Cove. So you're just gonna pop this in between the bronzer and the highlight. You guys, the glue didn't dry very clearly, so we're gonna reapply some of MAC and Bar just to cover up that glue that didn't dry so clear. You guys, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Laura Mercier bronzer. This one's in the shade or number 18. It's not a bronzer actually, it's just a setting powder. So I'm just gonna contour her nose a tiny bit. And you just wanna pick up like a very light amount of the product. I like to always go over with a powder brush just to kind of get rid of any, you know, too, too crazy harshness. But this is the same powder brush I used earlier. I'm just going back over her nose. You guys, right now I'm just outlining her lips using my MAC Pork Lip Liner. And for lipstick, I'm gonna apply NARS Barbarella. I always okay, say later. it at the okay. end of my video. Okay, okay. <laughs> lick a more. Yes, Lick a more. Okay. Lick a more. Okay, lick a more. It's kind of like saying little. L no, little more. No, no, no. Don't say little. Lick a more. Lick a more. Lick a more. Yeah, there you go. Lick a more. Lick a more. <laughs> lick a more. <laughs> there you got it. Okay, you guys, that is the end of this tutorial. Please be sure to check the description box below because I'm gonna be listing all the products that I use in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your peeps, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Lick more, my peeps. Lick more, lick more. <laughs> no, that's how you say it. That's lick good. more. <laughs>